Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The scheduled reports feature lets you email reports on a schedule you create. Before you can email these reports, however, you should set the Send Forms Preferences in the Preferences dialog box in your company file. You will be prompted to set up your email program for use with QuickBooks before you create your first report schedule. If you have Outlook installed, QuickBooks should automatically send the email using that program. Other email services, like Webmail, will need to be configured in the Send Forms Preferences section of the Preferences dialog box. In addition, you must be in single user mode to use this feature. Also, you want to ensure your computer is on and awake when the reports are set to be sent, although QuickBooks doesn't have to be running. You must also ensure that you do not have any conflicting preferences in your company file. If so, you will not be informed until after you try to create your first schedule and will then need to create it all over again after changing the conflicting settings. Ensure that you are opening QuickBooks as an administrator on your computer. You can exit QuickBooks, right-click the desktop application icon, and then choose the Run as Administrator command from the pop-up menu that appears to run the program as an administrator if needed. Also, ensure you are opening only the company file for which to send reports as the admin user and that you are in single user mode. To create a new report schedule, choose Reports, Scheduled Reports, Schedule Setup from the menu bar. If needed, click the Get Started button in the Instructions for Scheduled Email Delivery message box that appears. If you have not configured your email, a Choose Your Email Method window appears. You can then click the Set Up My Email Now button in this window to open the My Preferences tab of the Send Forms Preferences in the Preferences dialog box. If using Outlook, ensure that the Outlook Option button in the Send Email Using section is selected. If you do not see this option button, open the Outlook application and then open this dialog box again to see if QuickBooks then recognizes the program. If using Webmail or QuickBooks Email, select the correct option and then configure the email in the section below if needed. Once your email settings are correctly configured here, then click the OK button. QuickBooks may need to close and reopen all its windows to complete configuring these settings if it does, click OK in the message box that appears to inform you of that fact. After applying your email settings, then select Reports, Scheduled Reports, Schedule Setup from the menu bar again to create the new report schedule. This time, the Schedule Setup window will open and show the Select Reports screen. In the Memorized Reports section, you can use the Report Group drop-down to select the group of reports to show in the listing below. To add reports to the schedule, check the checkbox to the left of the report name in the list of reports. It will then appear in the selected reports list at the right side of the screen. When you have selected the reports, click the Next button to continue. In the Set Schedule screen, type a name for the report schedule into the Schedule Name field. Then use the Frequency drop-down to select the frequency with which these reports should be emailed to the recipients. Select the first date to send these reports from the Start Date calendar selector. Then use the two time drop-downs to select an hour and choose either AM or PM to be notified four hours before the emails are sent check the Notify Me 4 Hours Before Sending This Email checkbox. A summary of your send options appears at the bottom of this screen for you to review for accuracy. When you are ready, click the Next button to continue. In the Compose Email screen, you select the recipients of the email and compose the email. Enter the email addresses of the recipients into the two fields separated by semicolons. You can enter a different subject line for the email by changing the text in the subject field. The attachments show the names of the attached reports. Enter a password that will be required for the recipients to enter in order to open these attachments into the Attachments Password and Confirm Password fields. You will need to send this password to the recipients separately from the email so that they can enter the password in order to read the reports that are sent. You can edit the text of the body of the email by typing new or different text into the body field. When you are ready to create the schedule, click the Schedule button to finish. 
To grant the scheduled report's application access to your company file if creating your first schedule, click the Yes option in the QuickBooks Application Certificate window that opens. Then click Yes again in the Scheduled Reports Authorization window. Then click the Continue button in the QuickBooks Application Certificate window. Then click the Done button in the Access Confirmation window. It is possible that you could have conflicting preferences in your company file that would prevent QuickBooks from sending scheduled reports. If this is the case, QuickBooks will inform you of that fact in a Preferences Conflict message box with instructions on how to resolve the conflict or conflicts. Make sure you perform the changes to ensure the future delivery of the scheduled reports. You can click the OK button in this message box to close it after reading the steps you must take to correct the conflict. If the schedule had no conflicts, then the Scheduled Report Center window will appear and show your newly created report schedule. The Scheduled Report Center window is used to manage the scheduled reports you have created. You can close the window by clicking the X button in its upper right corner. To reopen the Scheduled Report Center window, select Reports, Scheduled Reports, Scheduled Report Center from the menu bar. In the Scheduled Report Center window, you can create a new report schedule by clicking the Schedule Setup button in the upper right corner. Doing this then opens a new Schedule Setup window for you to use to create a new report schedule. To edit an existing report schedule, click the row of the report schedule to edit in this window, and then click the Edit Schedule button that appears at the right end of the report schedule row to open the Schedule Setup window for that report schedule. You can then step through the schedule setup again to make changes and edit the schedule. To delete an existing report schedule, click the row of the report schedule to delete in this window. Then click the drop down arrow to the right of the edit schedule button that appears at the right end of the report schedule row. Select the delete command from the drop down menu that appears. Then click the OK button in the delete schedule confirmation dialog box that appears to confirm the deletion of the schedule. Deleting a report schedule cannot be undone. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.